kind of it's kind of cool going through all these pictures, kind of setting them up in these uh, these layouts, and then looking at them as a format in an ebook, and then also to be produced into different photo books. And I've got a few of my photo books around. It's cool it's over like the holidays and stuff. I've got the uh, the bookshelf out. I, we had the tree up and stuff. I had the bookshelf up, and I'd been pulling out like different uh, photo books that I had had, and then kind of leaving those out on the, the tabletop and going through them and looking at these different pictures and stuff that I've gone through over the years. And it's fun to get to see that sort of stuff, or to get to go through and like, oh man, yeah, I remember seeing these pictures and having that that real tactical or that tactile uh, physical object, that artifact in front of you, is uh, is a cool part of making art and making products and making photos and stuff. So that's what I'm trying to do a bit and kind of get set up uh, with a few of those sort of loaded in the chamber for 2021, which has been uh, pretty fun. And so that's kind of some of the studio work that I'm going through. And uh, a lot of that is like, yeah, I jump into like for the screencast stuff. I'm kind of trying to like line up stuff so that I get to sort of knock off a few jobs all at once. So with the screencasting stuff, a little bit is uh, I've gone into Lightroom and I've made these different collections of, of sets of photos that I want to try and get into, uh, re-edit, tweak a little bit, recrop, and like I'm saying, kind of get ready for print in these photo books, and then also to equally go out in these um, these photography ebook collections of you know fine art photography ebook collections. So as I go through and, and make the edits of this photo, what I'm going to try and do. Uh, is uh, do a screencast video. So I capture the video from the computer of me working on the photograph and then kind of walking through it and talking about the different steps and changes that I'm making. And then also trying to get a, a wider shot, like a real view of, of my hands and stuff working and sort of uh, the the, tac- the tactile elements and changes and stuff that I'm making to the, uh, to the photograph. And I've got a way of displaying that that I think should work okay. Maybe it'll just be complicated, but... We'll see how it goes. But I'm trying to put together this uh, set of screencasts that I could put up. I'll probably end them up or have them end up on YouTube for a while. Uh, we'll kind of see what other video opportunities there are out there for me. But uh, as it goes, just kind of for a shorter thing, it'll be uh, on my website and on the YouTube channel so that I can have some uh, some video content of, uh, of editing some photos. And hopefully that's uh, the, uh, a part of a solution to a problem that... Uh, people might have out there. I know there's no shortage of people uh, editing through different pieces, but uh, but I also think that I should have uh, kind of my take on how to work with photographs and how to move some stuff around. And I think I have some ideas that are different than what other people are sometimes talking about. But we'll see how it is. I don't know. Probably a lot of it will be utilitarian sort of stuff of just do this and this is how that gets done. And then other stuff will be, I think, uh, a little more artsy. It's sort of how it's going where I'm kind of talking about different ideas uh, or sort of kind of the 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 artistic kind of poetic part, the human, the, the human part of taking photos, especially taking landscape and nature photos where you don't really see the eyes and the personality of a person in front of you. You have to sort of represent the eyes and the interest and the, the meaning of a photograph of nature. Um, yeah, and you have to kind of find out like those pieces that make it as interesting as a person's human face. And so that's kind of a, an interesting and kind of tricky thing to do sometimes. So it's kind of cool. That's sort of what I'm trying to explore with uh, with doing some of these screencast pieces. Probably video overall is going to be a bigger part of some of the work that I'm trying to uh, assemble over this next year. I've been trying to look at like some live streaming options. Talked about that a little bit before of uh, doing some stuff with um, with Twitch. And then I'm also looking at the YouTube live streaming options and uh, i'm trying to look at like different pieces of software like uh, i was working with the the twitch software that uh, is like the twitch live streaming studio software that they have i downloaded that i tried it out it's working well it's working pretty simply i uh, i can kind of handle some some easy stuff with that and then i'm also looking